Today we're going to talk about the China Clipper and some of the valuable items that you can find related to it. It's a huge field all on its own with a lot of items across many different spectrums that can show up. Lots of them carry some value. We've sold them before on many occasions. It's something I always looked for. Now, the original China Clipper, as well as its two sister planes, were Martin M130 four-engine flying boats. They were built for Pan American Airways. The inauguration flight literally didn't have any passengers. So, in 1935 was the first actual passenger into this line. Later on, Boeing supplied them clippers. It was a Boeing 314, which was much larger and could carry more people. So it was the big thing of the day. The original China Clipper at the time was one of the biggest airplanes around. So it was a modern marvel, a wonder of the day. So it was on news articles, newspapers, toys, just across the gamut. That is why it's so prevalent to find these sorts of collectibles. Let's slide on over and show you some of the values for some items tied to this airplane right now. So here we have a poster advertising for the China Clipper. Excellent scene. Shows what you would typically see in one of these advertising posters. Now this is a larger one. This would have been on display at a travel agent or at an airport advertising the service. Again, this is one of the biggest airlines of the day. Everybody who was anybody wanted to take the Clipper across the Pacific to the Orient or somewhere interesting, unique. The posters just drew you in. This one went for $2,555. 26 bids, excellent poster, just a fine quality piece reminiscent of that 1930s era when the Clippers were a fad, the biggest thing of the day. Now this next one is a tin advertising display. Sikorsky was the original flying Clipper before they took passengers. It actually couldn't carry as many people, couldn't go as long, and that's why they switched them over to the Martin M130. So this was the original one. The first flights of these flying ships like this was one of these Sikorsky's. This is a tin model, basically, a metal one. These would have been on display again at a travel agent at the airport, advertising, showing you what it is. Very scarce. Any of these can go for some good money. Even if this was a new one, it would still sell for some incredible amount of money being made of metal. $1,755. Now here we have a telephone book from Pan American Airways. Clippers Pioneers are listed on the cover of this, so that can give you an idea on the time range on this. Almost $600 for this one. Very scarce, only given out to probably terminals, operators who handled Pan American Airlines flights. It's about all that would have had something like this. This is an internal one, basically for employees and company use only. Excellent item, something you just don't see every day. Clipper Pale Beer. Here's another oddball item. Now this can isn't in great condition. There are others up on eBay that looked much nicer that didn't go for as much money. This just shows you though that condition isn't always everything on some of these. It's a scarce can. They don't show up every day. This is a flat top so it's at the end of the Clipper time frame but still just an excellent advertising piece. Anything with a clipper on it like that seems to hold some good value. Cufflinks, tie tacks, medallions, anything, literally, we sell fairly well and fairly quickly. If you follow us on Instagram, I have a luggage label from a China Clipper on there as well, too. An original one that we sold ourselves. We've sold many different items from the China Clipper. It's something you should honestly be looking for. It's very easy to distinguish this from other airplanes. It has the four engines. It has the boat-shaped bottom. Just an excellent example here. This next item are glasses from one of the Clippers. It was a luxury flight as well. They had service, nice glassware just for it. You can see the Orient, the seas, the wind blowing on these glasses. Excellent items. PAA, Pan American Airlines or Airways. Just a nice example. It's Libby Glass, so it's early. It has the little L, script L on the bottom of them to tell that it's Libby. $400 for this set of five glasses. 
So next one is a negative to print photos from of the clipper landed in San Francisco Bay with the bridge there as well. It's just an excellent example here, $331. Something that doesn't show up are negatives. Many people won't even mess with negatives. So that's an area I always scoop up for almost pennies every single time I find bunches of negatives and you never know what you're going to find. This stuff does turn up quite often. There's almost always negatives of China clippers up on eBay. They always go for some insane amounts of money. Now here's another advertising piece. It's a poster of sorts. This may have been something that was given away though because they're a generic style of imagery on here. It doesn't have the standard route lines that I usually see. It's probably a promotional item. 1939 advertising it. Maybe if you flew on it you could get the poster. Maybe it was even a sold piece that you could buy at a gift shop. Still $310 Excellent example of these early style. I personally love posters of all types. Many people won't mess with them even when they're rolled because they're afraid to wrap them. It's really easy if you pay some attention to how to do it. I do have some videos on this sort of thing as well too. Now this is a Clipper gasoline enamel sign. It's just a brand of gasoline probably produced by one of the name brands, Esso or something along that, so Ohio. It's an original from what it looks like, an excellent example of one of this sort of things. It's a lesser known brand. It doesn't have a tie-in name on it for a major brand. If it did, it would have been worth some more, I'm sure. $189. It's a smaller one. Real nice example, though. Here's just another example from First Class from the Clippers. It would have had First Class just like they do still to this day. Nicer stuff on it. Actual glass or marked as well. $149 for this single glass here. So these earlier ones are what you want. You don't see much of this after the Clipper age is done. Everything started to get smaller, uh, compact. Not as much of these sort of things were available. Even first class limited the space to some extent just so they could get more passengers on the airplane. So nice example here. Very happy if I would have found this myself. Here we have a clock, and as I said, it's a Martin M130 is this specific plane that they're showing. This is the passenger version of it. There aren't a ton of the Sikorsky versions of this, of this sort of thing. It wasn't a passenger liner. It was just transportation, carried a ton of mail for some of its first routes. So this is the type of thing that I look for more than anything else, are these Martin M130s. You can tell the difference once you've looked at enough of this sort of thing. Now the Boeing version of the Clipper isn't worth quite as much as these in my opinion and from what I see. $139 on here. In many cases, it doesn't even matter if it works still. This is a desk thermometer. Now, this is a nice example, and it does appear to work. So this is what I would look for. This looks to be a copper-plated uh, pot metal, white metal of sorts. So just a nice example. Now, here's one of my loves. Real photo, real picture postcards of the Clipper. I've had many. They do show up. Average price isn't this high, but this is a different one. You can see the pilot and the co-pilot or a crew member or a passenger. These landed on water and the whole works. So this is just a really nice one. I have not seen this one. Hence the value on it, $134, basically $135 on this one. Now this here is a Strato Clipper, another Boeing. This is after the original Clipper by Boeing. This one here doesn't land on water. This is a jetliner, modern day style. It's a big job. It's a two-story basically on these. Really large size one for the day. The Clipper name was so popular that they carried it over to later models, even though it technically wasn't the same sort of thing. Now, back when the original China Clipper came out, they were all basically called China Clippers, but they each had their own route to Philippines, Hawaii, China, wherever they were going. So really nice example here of what some of these brochures can go for. I've showed you brochures. I've got a video just on brochures itself. It's something I always look for. 130 bucks for this one brochure. It's not in the best condition. It has some wear, some creases. Just a fine example of what was available back in the day. I find these items extremely interesting personally. Now here's another tie-in, China Clipper Fireworks. This is just the top wrapper from one of these packages, $234. It was a huge fad. This is from China, printed in China. Chinese vintage collectible paper items go for some insane amounts of money right now. So hot item here, snag them up whenever you see them. Now here's an interesting item. This is a 1930s Wyandotte tin 
China Clipper. Now, Wyandotte made all kinds of items. Mostly vehicles is what I see. Cars, trucks, and things along that line. This was repainted. Excellent job from what I see as well. Even repainted, these things are still scarce. It only went for $66 because of the repaint, I'm sure. Had this all been original, you could have probably multiplied it five, six, seven, maybe even 10 times this price. Now here we have a restaurant menu from New York City from the China Clipper restaurant. Excellent example of artwork on the cover. A fine example of what you would expect tied into this. Uh, it was just that popular. Everybody wanted to see the China Clipper. So $62 for this menu is from 1943. So it's not super old, but the Clippers were still abound all over the place at this point still too. So nice example in my book. I love menus as well. Now this next one is another postcard. This one I have had before. This is the Clipper flying over the Bay Bridge while it was still under construction. Now the first flight of this was supposed to go over it as well. This is a later one, 1937. The first flight they realized they couldn't gain enough altitude to get over it at that point, so it actually went under it on the first flight. Interesting fact. Love this sort of stuff. I love the history and everything tied to this. So $41.59. I've seen this one down to about $25 and all the way up to $75 in that range. Nice postcard here. And the last one here is just the medallion from 1935. It's an advertising piece basically commemorating the 1935 launch. You see the Bay Bridge there with it still being completed just like you saw in the photo. So 40 bucks on this one. Nothing super spectacular rare. Just an interesting item. Something you can miss. It's small. Mixed up in coins and tokens. Just pay attention. All this sort of thing are out there. We find airline items all the time. I'm always happy to find a Clipper one. Even if it doesn't go for a lot of money. There's a lot of history tied to this. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we are. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. time. The Clipper, across the Pacific Ocean from the Orient. The ships that are making new history in man's conquest of the air and setting new records for dependability. These airliners are now in regular scheduled flights between Manila in the Philippine Islands and San Francisco, carrying passengers, mail, and freight. With stops at Honolulu, Midway, Wake, and Guam, they travel a third of the way around the world in 60 hours flying time. This 25 and a half ton ocean going liner of the air and its sister ships with their luxurious passenger accommodations are the largest practical flying boats in the world. Such huge ships have to meet the severest kind of strains from wind and weather and heavy cargoes. The planning of this airplane called for new developments of structural engineering. For example, look at that wing spread. 130 feet from tip to tip, and those wings have to carry the entire load.